Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Bangladesh Mathematical Olympiad uh, higher level, so for students of higher classes of high school in Bangladesh, if I am not mistaken. 2023, problem number one. We wish to find all non-negative integers x, y and z satisfying this Diophant equation. x factorial plus 2 to the power of y equals z factorial. It's a rather simple problem, here are my hints. First, notice that if x and z are both greater than or equal 3, then x factorial and z factorial are divisible by 3. You should deduce that in this case we have no solutions. And so deducing that either or, or x is less than or equal to or z is less than or equal to, uh, you should go case by case. Yeah. So consider every case. So give this problem a try. Right, so first, notice that if, if x and z are greater than or equal 3, both, both of them, then we have the following problematic equation, 2 to the power of y equals z factorial minus x factorial, but we have a problem because this is divisible by 3, but uh, this isn't. we have a contradiction right away. Which means that either x must be less than or equal to 2 or z must be less than or equal to 2. And now we will go through every case, starting with x uh, 0, 1 or 1. So case number 1 x is either 0 or 1. What then? Then we have the following equation. Uh, I consider these cases together because 0 factorial and 1 factorial are the same. So we have 1 plus 2 to the power of y equals z factorial. Equals z factorial. And now, <coughs> let's notice that we can do the following. Uh, let's now consider the possible values of... Uh, of maybe maybe of y. Well, if y equals zero, then we have two equals z factorial, so z equals two. We have found a solution. However, if y is greater than or equal to, then notice that on the left hand side we have an odd number. So two does not divide one plus two to the power of y. So, z must be 0 and 1. Again, why is that? Because already 2 factorial and any other higher factorial is even. And the left hand side is odd. So, z is either 0 and 1 and we have, easy to see, we have no solutions there. No solutions in this case. Alright, case number 2. Case number two, when x is two, what then? Then I will consider these cases, where if y equals zero, then we have this, so this equation. If y equals zero, we have, on the left-hand side, we have three equals z factorial, of course, no solutions. Of course, no solutions. If y equals 1, then we have uh, 4 equals z factorial. Again, no solutions. If y equals, if y equals 2, then we have the following. 6 equals z factorial, and we have a solution. So z equals 3 in this case. If y is uh, greater than or equal 3, notice that if y is greater than or equal 3, then z must be also greater than or equal 4. Uh, 
So we have the following equation. 2 plus 2 to the power of y equals z factorial. And now we, we, here we have another problem because this expression is not divisible by 4. Is not divisible by 4 because it's some power of 2 with exponent greater than or equal 3. So it's, you know, 8 or something higher. It's divisible by 4, but plus 2 is not. And what about z factorial? Well, since z is greater than or equal 4, this part is divisible by 4. And we have a contradiction. So no solutions there as well. All right, so we have considered cases of x. Now let's consider cases of z. Case number three, z is either zero or one. Then we have this equation, uh, x factorial plus two to the power of y equals one. And again, no solutions because this is greater than or equal one and this is greater than or equal one. No solutions. And final case, case number four and final, where z equals two. Notice that if z equals two, then x factorial plus two to the power of y equals one. And the only possibility for this to be satisfied is that x is zero or one and y is uh, y is 0. All right, so and the, this is the end. We have considered four cases and there is no other case. So let's group everything together. What solutions do we have? Well, for x 0 or 1, we have uh, y equals 0, z equals 2. So maybe I'll write it x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 2, it's one triple of solutions, the other one is 1, 0, 2. All right, and the last uh, triple of solutions was uh, obtained here, namely 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. So these are our solutions. And that closes our problem. We have exactly three triples of solutions. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, or entertained or something, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>